God gives me so much that I can share with all of you, even with the ones that are mocking God. But God says you can mock God only for a short period of time. Only for a season you can mock God. And then the judgment comes. Some of us already were judged severely, but by the grace of God, He lifted the judgment for a season. Just to remind us that our life in the palm of His hands. You see, God is an awesome God. He's God that loves. He's God filled with grace, compassion, mercy. But He will not let people mock Him for long. God is a mighty God that loves us so much that He sent His only begotten Son that died on the cross for our sins. He has become sin for us. The wrath of God fell upon Jesus Christ. It pleased the Father to crush the Son for us. And then He says He gives us power to become the sons of God. Today, we have the power to call upon the name of the Lord. We have the power to say, Abba, Father, come. Daddy, save me. Do something with my life, please, in the name of Jesus Christ. The end of the age is already here. We see the signs. Let me read the signs for the end of the age. Watch out that no one would deceive you. Many will come in my name claim, claiming I am he and will deceive many. When you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. So let's stop for a second. There are many deceivers, many people that come and deceive many. They build their palaces, they call churches, and they take your money so they can build bigger palaces, granite countertops, and different other things. So they can have big fat salaries. Many people will claim that they are following Jesus Christ, but they preach not what's in the Bible. They are deceivers, God says, and He says, be careful that no one will deceive you. Jesus Christ died for a sinner. He died for you. Jesus Christ walked the streets. He was not withdrawing Himself in a nice synagogues. He went where people were. He went to the people. You see, and that's the heart of God. He wants to spend time with you. He wants to lift you up. He wants to love you. He wants to nourish you. God is mighty to save. Jesus Christ is mighty to save. Then He says there will be rumors of wars and nations raising against other nations. We hear this over and over again. But right now in this age is increasing even more and more. You see, there are nations raising against nations. There are wars all around us, everywhere. And God says, those will be the signs of the second coming. But this will not be the end yet. There will be earthquakes in various places and famines. These are the beginning of birth pains. You know, if you ever had a child or if you ever watched a woman delivering a child, a human being, you see that the birth pains are increasing. It starts with one and then increases and more and more and more intensifies. You see, the birth pains are getting closer to each other. And then, and then the birth is given. We're living in a times that the birth pains of this earth are intensifying. We hear of earthquakes like never before and such a huge cataclysm around the world. And they are happening very quickly. The period of time between them is getting closer. That means the end of age is getting closer. Famines. God spoke to us that the city of Calgary because has hardened their hearts, because they persecute the Christians, because they hate the poor orphans and widows. The famine is coming upon the city. God says famine, famine, famine. The judgment already started. The judgment already began. The judgment began upon the city for persecuting God's prophets, 
for putting people in jail for no reason, for abusing their powers over the poor, widows and orphans. Yes. You don't want to cause yourself any more grief today, and I don't want to have to do something stupid. So listen, here's what's going to happen, because they, they want to do maintenance on the building today. they got to set up scaffolds and stuff. Yeah. You've always been reasonable with me in the past, right? If, we're, if they weren't doing that, you could probably do what you got to do today, but today they want to set up the scaffolding and stuff. Can you move your equipment? So they can they can get all that done, because if you don't, it's going to turn it's going to turn stupid. So this way, you can just save us everybody a lot of trouble. It save you some extra money too. They told us one hour. Well, I guess the, what they've told us now. Here, just a second. excuse me. I'm going to ignore that. Um, I don't know. They, I guess they talked about half an hour ago. Yeah. Once we're going to give you about ten minutes now to to clear everything up. Would that so work? That will be you? half hour. Well, regardless of how long they told you. Is you got about ten minutes from now. Okay? Yeah. Get everything cleared up. It's it's twelve thirty now. So one o'clock, I will move it. Yeah. Is that fair? I'll, I'll make I'll make you compromise. Okay. They said in ten minutes they're going to serve you. How about a quarter to one? Because that's halfway between. 12 one o'clock, I will pack everything. And go. Usually we are here until two. One hour I will give you today. Well, let, me, let me talk to them and see if that if that'll work. For them. Yeah. Okay? And but, by the city. way, the city of Calgary is aware of our demonstrations. This is a vigil. And we're going to continue this vigil until they give us our rights back. You see our rights being stripped. They well, illegally I'm, took our permits away. Arthur, that, that's that, that's not an argument for me though, right? I'm not I'm I'm not the person who took your permits away. You're gonna have to argue that legally. But we do, and this is our right. City. Demonstration is our civil rights. Absolutely. So and let I, us demonstrate. And, and we will let you demonstrate. The only problem being is today they want to do maintenance today. That's the only problem, and that's why you have to move your stuff. If you did this any other time, it wouldn't be an issue. Yeah, but if they would give us permit back, I would not even be here. Well, give us our permits back, we well, will our, gladly our, move that back. Be, that being said, right? Yeah. Because I don't have any, I don't have no, any, any jurisdiction when it comes to giving your permits back. I can't say one way or the other. Right? But you have a discretion. You can see the documents that they have there that those oh, no. gentlemen are lying. Sir, they are corrupted. Sir, they sir, lie to the courts. Arthur, they lie to the public. Arthur, they lie to the media. Let me tell you, once once the order is put into place by a judge. I'm bound by. The, I can be charged, or I can. I can go to jail if I don't. If I don't abide by that order. But sir, the judge never, never said we cannot demonstrate. No, and you can. So let us demonstrate. And well, okay. it's, it's okay. not okay. convenience okay. for you, let and it's not. It's not convenience for me. Right. I want to go to the place that you, sir, don't come without your backup, with the drug dealers, prostitutes. Let me go under the bridge when no one dares to walk and go. What's the problem? Well, that, but that's not an argument for me, sir. But, but you know, I'm talking to a human being. I'm not Absolutely. talking to... Uh... You know what? To be quite honest with you, my personal opinion on this doesn't even enter into this, Archer. Yeah. Whether I think what you're doing is right or wrong doesn't enter into it. Because I, I don't have a choice in the matter. Now, I'm telling you that... Okay, I'll, I'll, talk, to, I'll talk to the bylaw officers, and if 1 o'clock works for them, that's what we'll do. Yeah. Okay? Let me talk to them, and okay. then we'll see how that works out. Okay, okay give, awesome. Give us a few minutes, okay? Okay. okay. So, continuing with the message... God says, these are the beginnings of birth pains. Hey, brother. brother. Beginning of birth pains. You must be on your guard, God says. You will be handed over to the local councils. Well, that's a perfect verse for today. And flogged in the synagogues. Well, I was not flogged yet, but the whole life is uh, ahead of me. On account of me, you will stand before the governors and kings as witnesses to them. And the gospel must be first preached to all nations. Whenever you are arrested and brought to trial, do not worry beforehand about what to say. Just say whatever is given you at the time, for it is not you speaking, but the Holy Spirit. You see, I stood before six judges last year for feeding homeless. The city council says it's illegal to feed the poor. God says otherwise. The city officials are saying it's not legal to gathering a crowd. Sorry to interrupt you. 